Oh, hey, hi, Glenn here at the workshop at the gardens. We are in the workshop. We are finishing, um, finally finishing. It's kind of funny. Uh, I looked back and there is a video. I'll put it in the description about uh, putting the post assemblies together and I don't think and moving into the shop. Moving into the shop is in this video, but we moved them into the shop back in January, February, March. March of this year with hopes to get to them sooner. It's also the last time I had a haircut. Don't tell anyone. Uh, but we are, yes, believe it or not, we are finally getting to getting all of the knee braces installed. And so I've got that one already done and all that's left is uh, the fasteners on this knee brace and the two ears going into the tie beam. But before we show you this, I'm gonna take you back, all the way back to March and give you a little bit more information on how we did some of the cuts down on the bottom down there and how we moved them into the workshop to work on them. So let's go watch that.
So yeah, pretty cool how we uh, fastened all of the knee braces into the tie beam and into the posts here using the washers. What I did show you when I was doing that, I, I had done that all with a chisel and I don't know if I got lazy or just more efficient. You can be the, the deciding factor on that. But I did um, pick up this guy right here, a little steel. It is a, somewhere, there it is. <laughs> Holding two hands here. It is a steel MSA 220C and battery powered. So it's really sweet to run here in the shop. And what I ended up doing is kind of hogging out the area first and then kind of getting it all cleaned up and shaped with the chisel. So that saved a little bit of time, but didn't get it done any faster, but saved some time. The detail with the bridge washer is that I used a big uh, speed bore, two and a half inch, to flatten it off. If I didn't, these washers wouldn't have a flat surface. And then I used the chisel to chisel in and give it that rustic look. But when the bridge washer gets on there, it'll have a nice flat surface to actually do some good in tying this together. I'm using three quarter inch galvanized. Uh, bolts. I had some four, some six, and I'm using eights. And I backed this one out because that six just wasn't giving me enough bite the way that I love, really wanted to feel it. Um, one of the reasons I use a ratchet instead of a pneumatic, so I want to be able to feel it, not strip it out. Anyways, I'm going to drop this uh, eight inch in here now, and then we will move these things out. Well, this is gonna wrap this video up here. Just a quick uh, explanation of what I did. The pins that are already in the ground, put a card up above to the video of putting those in for the footings are four foot seven apart. I'd already marked that out and then I'm going to, hold on. Pull my bracket off. Um, I'd already had that mark down here. I just did another mark and then transferred that to the bottom and did a line so I know where my uh, footing connection is gonna come through. Then I used the speed bore, which is a through two and a half inch, same as the for the top. Two and a half inch speed bore and went in there. That's just gonna give a nice area for the nut to sit. Um, once that's out, then I am using anchor seal on the bottom just to minimize any wicking of moisture uh, up through the bottom of these once they're installed. So that's, uh, that's it for the post assembly. Uh, we are going to actually speed this project up. Actually, we're, I think we're gonna get close to an install. They are heading in uh, right over there where the footings are. And I think I'm actually gonna go put the brackets in place tonight, but that's gonna start another video. So you'll wanna check that one out. I also have a video about actually making brackets. I didn't film any of this one cause it's the same exact brackets that I used on the big pavilion uh, that I built. Actually in the description, go down there, down in the description, check it out. There's building the gardens pavilion. So there's one on making those brackets and just dealing with 
that big timber project. All right. Hey, thanks so much for following along. Glenn here at the workshop at the gardens. Uh, really do appreciate it when you hit that uh, like button, subscribe button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would do, how you've done it, or if you've done something like this, would love to hear about it. That's it. Going to finish up uh, getting the other post assembly anchor sealed. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.